Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on probability and tree diagrams. So there'll be a few different videos on this topic. Uh, this one will just cover the basics, uh, so that's independent and dependent events. Uh, so first of all then, if I have two different scenarios here, uh, so I've got two dices that I'm going to roll uh, and I have a bag with some sweets in. Now let's look at the dices first. Uh, so let's say that I roll one dice, so that, that can be event one. And event two will be uh, that I roll a second dice. Now it will become clear why I'm using this terminology event one and event two. Uh, but let's say that I'm interested in the probability of rolling a six. Well the probability of rolling a six in event one is one out of six. And the probability of rolling a six in event two is also one out of six. And that's just because there's six numbers on a fair dice and one of them is six. Uh, so the probability of rolling a six is therefore one sixth. So in this instance, uh, rolling a six on the first throw doesn't affect the probability of rolling a six on the second throw. It's always going to be one sixth. Uh, so we can say that event one and event two are independent. So they're independent events. So if we have a look at the second scenario now, so let's say this time we're interested in the probability of withdrawing a blue sweet from this bag of five sweets. Uh, so as you can see, there's five sweets and two of them are blue. So the probability of taking a blue sweet is two fifths. Uh, and then moving on to event two. Now, if we assume that the first sweet we took was blue, so let's make a note of that. Uh, there'll be four sweets left in the bag and only one of them will be blue. So now the probability will be one out of four. Uh, but if the first sweet was red, uh, then there'll still be four sweets left in the bag. Uh, but this time, both blue sweets will still be there. Uh, so the probability is two out of four or one half. So as you can see, uh, the probability of withdrawing a blue sweet in event two depends on the outcome of event one. Uh, so therefore, these are dependent events. Now, as you can imagine, this sort of thing might get quite messy quite quickly if you've got several different outcomes and several different events. Uh, so what we, what we do is we use tree diagrams uh, to represent the different probabilities and the different events. And that's what the remaining videos on this topic will be focused on. If you want to get some practice with some tree diagrams exam style questions, then you can have a go at our online exam. It's available through our revision platform and uh, there's loads of different questions to have a go at. You get instant feedback on all of them and you'll see the solutions and find out where you need to improve, find out where you went wrong and so on. Uh, so if you're interested, then you can click the link below. It will take you straight over there.